Emergency response in northern Michigan poses many challenges. The environment itself, the open waters of the Great Lakes and the remoteness, as well as the current lack of resources, means we are not adequately prepared to respond to a spill on Line 5 in northern Michigan. Uh, and saying basically we would like more resources prepositioned in the area. Um, they are doing that, but that's only part of the equation. I can have warehouses full of boom, uh, but that doesn't do me any good if I don't have boats to deploy the boom, if I don't have skimmers, if I don't have back trucks, and most importantly, if I don't have trained personnel. These difficulties and insufficiencies have been acknowledged and changes are being made to improve preparedness. Enbridge conducted an independent assessment of emergency response capabilities for the Straits of Mackinac. They are actively working to fill the gaps identified in the report, announcing a $7 million investment in equipment designed for rough open waters and ice cover. The investment of additional emergency response equipment is certainly a positive step forward for Enbridge. However, we don't have access to the assessment that was done and therefore we don't know if there are any unidentified gaps that have been fulfilled yet. The Watershed Council will continue to evaluate response capabilities and work with Enbridge and other emergency responders to ensure that we are as prepared as possible with response measures in northern Michigan. To learn more, visit www.watershedcouncil.org slash pipelines.